St. Albert Public Library presents The 1 to 6 Storytime Mix 1, 2, a rhyme for me and you. Our rhyme today is called 10 Little Pirates. Can you bring your hands up here? We need all 10 fingers sticking up. 10 little pirates stood in a row. They bowed to their captain just like so. They marched to the left and they marched to the right. And they shouted, yo ho ho! We'll find the treasure tonight. That was great. Let's try it again. Do you have your pirates ready? 10 little pirates stood in a row. They bowed to their captain just like so. They marched to the left and they marched to the right. And they shouted, yo ho ho! We'll find the treasure tonight. Great job. Let's do that once more all together. Ten little pirates stood in a row. They bowed to their captain just like so. They marched to the left and they marched to the right. And they shouted, yo ho ho! We'll find the treasure tonight. Three, four, a story to explore. This story is called The Pirate's Treasure. And it's about Kyle, who has just turned eight years old, and he got the most amazing present from his grandpa. His grandpa had given him a pirate's treasure map. Now Kyle knew that this was a pirate's treasure map because we can see the big X in the corner and we can see all the lines that go around the map. And do you know what we do with a pirate's map? There's only one thing to do. We get to go on an adventure and we're gonna follow this map all the way to the pirate's treasure. So Kyle took his map and he folded it in half this way and he folded it in half that way until it could fit in his pocket. And then he set out on his journey and he walked. He walked for a long time until he came to a big mountain. Kyle looked up the mountain and he kept walking. He walked, he walked all the way the mountain and when he got to the tippy top right up here he looked around and he saw the treasure way down at the bottom well Kyle walked down the other side of the mountain and when he got to the bottom he looked around but he couldn't see the treasure so instead he kept walking and he kept walking all the way through this valley and through this valley. And it took a long time to get through these valleys and it was also getting really, really hot. So Kyle looked around and he decided there was only one thing to do. Kyle put his hat on his head and that really helped. Well, Kyle kept walking until finally he came across big dark cave. Kyle looked around but there was nowhere else to go. Kyle took a deep breath and he walked into the cave. Well as Kyle was walking he couldn't see very much because it was a very dark cave and he tripped over a big rock that looked like this. Ouch he said but he kept going and as he kept going he looked further and further ahead, trying to see anything in the dark until finally he saw the end of the tunnel. He started running and he ran all the way out of that cave. He was very relieved to be out of that deep, dark cave, but he still hadn't found the treasure. Well, when Kyle got out of the cave, he looked around and he saw the ocean. And in the ocean, there was lots of fish who swam around. But how was Kyle going to get through the ocean? 
Well, lucky for Kyle, he saw a boat. So Kyle climbed into this boat and off they went. They sailed through the waves, but then it started to rain. It rained like this, lots and lots of rain. Uh oh! And after the rain came the thunder, which went kaboom, kaboom. And after the thunder came the light. And the lightning, it was striking all over the place until it struck Kyle's boat. And the sail of Kyle's boat came off like this. Uh-oh, what was Kyle gonna do? There was only one thing to do. Kyle kept sailing. But the lightning struck again, and this time it struck the end of the boat. And his boat, it broke, and a piece came off like that. Uh-oh. Kyle was getting a little bit worried now, but he kept sailing until finally he saw an island. He steered that boat towards the island and when he got there, he crashed into the rocks. Uh-oh, the boat broke like this. And so all that was left was one rectangle. Well, Kyle got out of this boat and he looked around. And do you know what he saw? He saw a big X in the sand. And you know what a big X in the sand means. It means there's pirate treasure here. So Kyle, he dug, he dug really deep in the sand right where the X was. And then he found a treasure chest. Do you know what was in this treasure chest? Well, Kyle opened up the treasure chest and he saw something really, really fun he saw his very own pirate shirt. Now Kyle was so excited about this that he put it on right away. And then he heard a voice. Hi, Kyle, shouted his grandfather. Well, Kyle and his grandfather played pirates for the rest of the afternoon. Five, six, that's the end of our mix. See you next time.